Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into a new product. I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way at the beginning. This is a product that was sent to me. If you follow the channel you guys know that it's not very often I do videos like this. I don't normally um, get tools. I get messages and emails constantly about asking about doing reviews on things, uh, tools, even things that aren't related to the channel. Um, and 99% of the time I turn it down just because either I already know it's garbage or it's something that I've already reviewed or it's something that I already own or anything along those lines. So most of the time I just turn them down. But this one, it's from a company, KBC Sun, I believe. Um, never heard of them. It looks like they're more along the lines of home and garden and things like that, but they they uh, emailed me with a couple different products and asked if I was interested in either one and doing a review. I told them I thought one of the products was interesting. I do this completely out of enjoyment of doing it. Uh, I even get offers from people or companies and they're like, oh, we watched your channel and we find it very interesting and we believe your channel would be a great fit or your content would be a great fit for our product. It's like makeup. I get it. I'm not the best looking guy, all right? I get it, but I'm not doing a makeup review. Promise, promise, I'm already wearing some, okay? I don't need more. <laughs> no, but uh, it's actually a small product. Obviously, you've probably actually already seen it in the thumbnail. So it's actually a pretty interesting tool. I haven't yet used it. I actually just got it, so we're gonna be unboxing it, or you guys don't have to watch me unbox it. That's boring. I'll have it open. I'll have it on display, but we'll go over it. I'll talk about it. I'm gonna give you an honest review of it. Once again, I did not pay for this product. I am not getting paid for this uh, review. I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts and then I'm actually going to take it to work for a week and then I'll finish this video. So it's gonna take me some time to create this entire video, but just give it some time. I think it's a really cool tool. It's a multi-bit screwdriver, ratcheting screwdriver, um, but not like the ones that I'm used to. I'm used to, you know, your standard style ratcheting screwdriver. This is different. This is more versatile. It's, it's, I don't know. It was intriguing, and that's why I'm doing this review. Uh, but if you guys know, I do a lot of under dash work, dash work, um, tight areas, um, trim panels, uh, tail lights, tail gates, uh, miscellaneous trim panels, exterior, interior, a lot of that stuff that has to deal with a lot of screws and fasteners and things like that. Not necessarily needing a lot of torque, but in awkward situations. And so I figured this was gonna be fantastic for work. So I'm gonna use it, find some areas that, you know, I might find it useful and I'll share my thoughts with you guys. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys do, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts on this product, uh, if you would consider it. So let's go ahead and get right into this. So here's the box that comes in. It says RS1 multi-purpose ratchet set says magic ratchet handle, S2 alloy steel bits, uh, super hard aluminum alloy handle. Sorry, I have a lot of other stuff on the table and everything right now, so we're kind of working in an awkward location, but so it does come in this nice little case. It's got some hinges on the back, um, hinge on the front or a latch on the front. It is plastic, but still a nice little case. Okay, so we got a little bit of foam up here to protect that top from rubbing not gonna lie I'm you know I I selected this one because I thought it looked interesting and it looked well built and um, I'm still actually very surprised it's actually a lot cleaner than I thought it was gonna be I was really expecting um, I don't know a little bit lower quality but this thing is actually really clean it's got like a brushed aluminum finish it's kind of got a It's very clean, actually. Uh, so here's the ratcheting mechanism. It's not quick release or anything like that. That's just the back portion of the ratcheting mechanism, but you do have a reverse lever there. Some nice knurling on this portion. The, it's all magnetic. It's very versatile. You can, from the images, I'll throw some up. You can change this thing in so many different ways. It's, it's pretty cool. So if you need some more length, but not a whole lot of torque. You can still get a lot of torque on this thing, you know, for a screw, probably more than you would with a standard screwdriver gripping it like this. But all of this is aluminum. The only steel part is this bit portion right here that connects 
everywhere. And then here's your main bit adapter that holds your bits. So it holds pretty nicely. It's got some pretty decent strength there on the main one. Uh, when these ones are in here, it does have magnetism. There, There's slight magnetism, not a whole lot. I mean, it's not going to fall off or anything, but it's definitely not as strong as this one here on the main portion. But it's a 58 tooth ratcheting mechanism. So it's actually really smooth. I want to say that's post a picture up in here, 6.8 degree arc swing. Uh, not a big deal on a ratcheting screwdriver. Not looking for super high tooth count, but that's pretty good for a ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, another way, you know, you, if you really need torque, you can use it this way, or you, you can use it as a, a speed handle screwdriver. Or if you're in a tight area and you can't get a, a full turn on it, you know, having that rationing mechanism is actually really cool. Uh, so I do like that all of the ends are magnetic. Then you could do something like this. So it's set up more like a ratchet. You can put your bits straight in here as well if you don't need the extra length or depth. But then if you're kind of reaching into a recessed area, this is very handy as well. It holds it pretty dang well. I don't think you're gonna end up losing it or anything unless you get it stuck in like a rusty fastener or anything like that, or you know, strip ahead of a screw and, and have this jammed up in there. But this is actually a very interesting design. Um, I don't use a whole lot of ratcheting screwdrivers just because it's not my preference. Uh, I just like my standard screwdrivers. But when I saw this, I thought of it more of a ratchet than I did a ratcheting screwdriver just because of its design and versatility, I think this is better than your standard ratcheting screwdriver. But that also depends on your situation and the type of work that you do. But I think removing trim panels and things like that in my situation, underneath a uh, dash, working on wiring, uh, removing those panels and steering columns and things like that, I believe this is going to be very handy. Uh, so definitely enjoy the design. It's a lot cleaner than I thought. Operates really smoothly. Looking at the bits, they are color coded. So your Phillips, you have the dark blue, flatheads, you have the purple, all of your Torx, which are at least from the T8 up to the T27 are all tamper proof, but you do have a good selection of bits there. And then you also, and that's kind of in that teal color. And then the gray is all of your Allens. So a good selection of bits. Uh, it is S2 steel, like it stated earlier. Size markings and everything on the, the, the case itself, but there's no marking or size or S2 or anything on the actual bit itself. It's just the color-coded rubber band. Overall, first impression, very impressed, uh, but let me go ahead and take it to work for a week or two, and I'll be back in two seconds. Let's go to work. Ratcheting where you can spin it like a T-handle. Same thing. Use it more like a ratchet. Get some real good torque on it. You can use it as a standard screwdriver. Or like up in dashes where it's real tight. Something like this with a low profile and still being able to ratchet is just a fantastic thing to have, especially working up in defrost vents and things like that. So, just a few examples. Okay, YouTubers, so I've had this at work approximately about two weeks, and I've probably used it maybe 30 times. So, like I've stated in previous videos, I'm not a huge rationing screwdriver user. I prefer my standard style screwdrivers, but there are definitely those cases where a rationing screwdriver is very handy, especially one that's compact for the work that I do, not just in trim panels and tail lights and stuff like that, but in close quarter areas under dashes i work a, a lot under dashes in the tops of dashes things like that where getting to fasteners is really awkward so anytime i can use a standard screwdriver or my drill that's what i do it's obviously just faster and more comfortable but having something like this can definitely be handy and i i definitely prefer something like this over your standard rationing screwdriver at least for the work that i do so i'm gonna 
you know say some pros and cons uh pros i do like the case it's organized very well uh i like the assortment of bits it's not overly excessive you know i primarily use torx allens and phillips uh, i do like that there's a, f a few flat heads in here i'm glad that it doesn't include a bunch of the other bits that i don't really ever use so it's a nice assortment i like the color coded portion on here uh, keep in mind it doesn't say anything on the bits as far as you know what size it is or anything like that but not a big deal so i do like the case you can also like you guys saw there are just a couple tabs in here that basically hold this top on if you're going to keep this in a drawer it's probably easier to just remove the top and leave this laying in a drawer other than that i do like that about the case and the organization con i do kind of wish that they would have left this portion open so you can actually leave a bit in the screwdriver just because a lot of the time i'm either using my number two phillips or like a t20 t15 t20 or t25 those are very common for me to use so if i could leave my phillips in here that'd be fantastic i could probably just leave it in there like that but very minor con i would definitely say that the other thing that i would like to see is the magnets for these side portions to have a little bit more resistance whether that be tighter tolerances here or just a stronger magnet in general this main magnet and tolerances on here is a lot better so like this i don't ever have to worry about coming out of the tool it's this so I was just seeing many different situations where I could use this, how I could use this, and you know, I just spun this and I spun it a little bit harder. Um, obviously, not backwards, but you know, removing a screw and I spun it a little too hard, and they actually flew out. Now, obviously, I know that I wouldn't do it uh, anymore, but that's just a con. I wish these side magnets for these pieces were just a little bit stronger. Uh, that. The other con is the center section is, uh, it doesn't have any knurling or anything. Obviously, if you're gripping it like this, you don't have an issue, but like just spinning it, it is pretty slippery, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so some knurling like you see on these pieces would be nice along the center section. And then the other thing, if you're going to use this, um, I wouldn't suggest throwing this in a tool bag. If you throw this in a tool bag, yeah, it's durable. I've dropped it probably five times actually. Um, <laughs> I think if you leave this in a tool bag, these are probably going to come off of the tool in the tool bag and then you're gonna be hunting around for the different pieces and everything. So I think it's something that should either stay in the case or you know somewhere that it can't, you can't lose the side pieces because once again, I do wish those side magnets were a little stronger. I mean, they're not like extremely weak or anything, but they're nothing compared to the main bit attachment. Other than that, the ratcheting mechanism works very nicely. I do like that I can use it as an extended ratchet or anything like that. There's a lot of different situations where I've found this actually very handy. So overall, I think for $20, it's fantastic. You can find this from a few different makers. Or, you know people selling them on amazon they're all going to range from you know 18 dollars to 30 dollars but you know i think 20 dollars for this set is a fantastic price it's definitely something i'm going to continue to use um i actually don't keep any rationing screwdrivers in my work van just because i'd rather use a standard screwdriver than i would a rationing screwdriver but since this is more versatile this is actually something that i could use uh, for those awkward situations so please let me know your guys thoughts on that other than that, I really don't have any other, you know, pros, pros or cons to it. I think uh, overall for $20, you get a good tool. And it's actually, once again, very surprising on the quality and durability for the, the handful of times that I dropped it. It actually held up very well. Very surprised by it. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I wasn't expecting it to be horrible, but I wasn't expecting it to be as nice it is, as it is. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Maybe you guys have purchased uh, one like this before, or if you guys have another version that's similar to this or just as versatile as this, please drop it down in the comments. I'd be glad to see it. And uh, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. See you guys next time.